Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Asus Rogue Strix B650A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. This is actually for the brand new Socket AM5 B650 line of the 7000 series motherboards. Um, this is something that I wanted to get for a brand new upgraded build, and so far I've been very, very happy with this board. Um, I'll talk a little bit about some of the things I did in this video just to make sure we had full compatibility as well as um, the setup of this. So here you can see we ha have a new build here. This is using a absolutely massive Cooler Master case that we decided to do this new build in. I paired this with some G-Skill Trident memory that runs at 6,000 megahertz. We have a Corsair AIO and this actually has a AMD 7600X. Um, as the processor with this. Additionally, we have a GeForce 3080 um, GPU, and overall I was able to really set this up pretty much with ease. Originally, I had actually bought a motherboard from another brand, and that motherboard was pretty much um, booting, and after about 10 minutes of running, shut off and would not power on. I thought it was the power supply, and I decided to go with a different brand, which obviously was this Asus, and so far I'm very happy with the um, end result. Now, just to kind of give you some diagram here, because obviously it's a little bit tougher looking through the case. Some of the advantages of this particular motherboard are that you have built-in heat sinks all throughout for all your M2 drives. You have three of those. So I actually was able to utilize all of these and this kind of works as a built-in heat sink. You have your standard power connectors all throughout here. Um, it has a USB um, 3.2 header, as well as I believe the 3.1, I think it is here on the side. Um, this particular case actually has two of these headers because we have four of these here going across the front, but we don't really utilize all of them, so we just have two of these plugged in through that single header. Now, beyond that, this does have two of the older style. Um, this is basically the, um, I think it's a nine pin USB header here, and this actually has two of them, which we needed for some of the peripherals to control a lot of the fans and some of the other RGB and things like that. So it was really nice that it had that. You do have a built-in, this has what, what they call the Supreme FX um, sound. So if you wanna utilize this, you can. We ended up actually going with this external sound card, but if you're looking for high quality sound out of just the motherboard, this does have it built in. Um, beyond that, the GPU clip on this, pretty easy to detach. This was something we actually had an issue with the older motherboard where we ended up snapping this off accidentally, and I felt that this one was a little bit nicer. You do have some RGB here that shows up on the base of the motherboard, so you can see that lit up there in the corner. All of this can be controlled through the Asus software. Um, they basically have what they call Asus Armory, which I'll jump into just to give you some idea of what to expect with the board and the controls. Um, let me see if I can actually pull it up. Um, I'm gonna try to find it through uh, just Windows search here. We may have even had it up recently, but this basically gives us the ability to control. It's, it's very possible uh, we do still have it installed. My wife was having some issues with it, but essentially this gives you um, a lot of the um, settings here within this. So mainly it's gonna be for addressable RGB like LED strips, memory, or the actual motherboard itself. So we have this all synced up and then we have specific settings for each of these. So basically it's controlling our memory RGB, it's controlling that little um, ASUS symbol there on the left, and then we also have an LED strip that's installed in this back plate on our GPU, and that basically lights up this whole back plate um, that's then connected into the motherboard. All the other RGB is being controlled by separate apps through other third-party vendors, but ultimately um, very happy with this motherboard. One thing I will note is we made a mistake of actually running this and I thought automatically, you know, this might figure out some of the memory settings. Didn't really look into that too closely and we were actually getting crashes. Um, I even ended up upgrading Windows thinking, you know, maybe there was some incompatibility or whatever it could have been. And uh, I was just trying to, you know, look at all the options and ultimately we had to go into the BIOS and set this to one of the main profiles, which would allow this to run at, at its full capacity at 6,000 megahertz. So make sure you do that as you may end up running into some issues with crashing. We did have to update the BIOS. Um, it was only about three or four months behind and ultimately some of the newer updates do help with stability, but we had no issues booting this, getting it into Windows and ultimately just setting up all of the, all the settings. As soon as you boot up. Um, this does have settings in the BIOS that it's going to immediately install the Armory Crate software. Um, definitely not my favorite software of all the RGB 
controllers, but um, overall does work, you know, fairly well. You have all your different settings here for things like you can even set up games and there's different uh, profiles for different things. So lots of different things here you can tweak and mess around with in terms of drivers, tools, all of that. You do wanna also make sure that you get all of your main drivers installed. So you can see this actually pulls all this up. So it'll find, you know, things for like the AMD APU for the graphics driver, the chipset, the LAN driver, Wi-Fi, all of that. It does additionally include, I'll actually open up the box here. Um, I have some power supply cables, but it does have this really awesome little Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi 6 controller. So this actually plugs into the back of the motherboard and you have um, this large antenna here. So if you need Wi-Fi 6 capability, this motherboard includes that and you've got this extra add-on to, to set all that up. So anyway, very, very happy with this motherboard. Overall, I'm super happy with the, the whole build. The performance of everything is absolutely awesome using the new 7000 series and I highly, highly recommend it. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review and I hope you found it helpful if you're considering getting this motherboard.